Ձեզ այսօր հյուրն կալել ենք Հյուսիս Ատլանտյան դաշենքի գլխավոր կարտուղար Ենս Տոլտենբերգին։ Հյուրի հետ կզրուցեն կարավային կովկաս կատարածայցի տարածաշրջանում տիրող իրավիճակի և Հայաստան My main message is that uh, this uh, region, the South uh, Caucasus, uh, is important uh, for uh, region stability and therefore also for uh, European uh, peace and uh, security. And uh, NATO has uh, several uh, partners in this region. I have visited all of them, uh, Armenia, uh, Georgia, but also Azerbaijan. Uh, I know there are differences, I know there are tensions, but that's exactly why it's important to sit down, talk and see how we can ensure a lasting peace and normalization in the in the region. Armenia is making efforts towards diversification in the field of foreign and defense policy. How can NATO support Yerevan in this regard? We support uh, Yerevan, uh, the Republic of uh, Armenia, in their uh, aspirations to uh, both uh, protect their territorial integrity and sovereignty, but also to develop an independent uh, foreign uh, policy. Uh, it's, it's the right of every nation to choose its own path, uh, and that includes also, of course, uh, uh, Armenia. Um, NATO will never force any country to do anything against their will, but we are ready to uh, deepen our partnership. Uh, we have had a partnership with Armenia for now 30 years. Uh, my visit here to Yerevan uh, was about how can we deepen, further strengthen the partnership, how can NATO help uh, Armenia to modernize its uh, security and defense institutions, how can we work on issues like uh, cyber defense, uh, reforms and, and other areas where NATO can assist. And my meetings with um, Prime Minister Pashigian was very helpful and useful because he is a very strong uh, leader, he's a very uh, strong voice uh, for uh, democracy, for, uh, for peace, for stability, and therefore I had very useful and good conversations with the Prime Minister. And during your visit you uh, urged Armenia and Azerbaijan to use the opportunity to achieve enduring peace. However, Baku calls Armenia West Azerbaijan, uh, declaring that it is not going to withdraw its troops from the occupied uh, regions of the sovereign territory of Armenia. Besides, it also regularly uses belligerent rhetoric. Under such conditions, do you consider the prospect of peace to be realistic? And if so, on what principles? I strongly believe that peace is always uh, uh, possible uh, and I also believe that peace is realistic, not least because uh, 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 some core principles have been agreed uh, uh, as part of the talks which are now taking uh, place and that includes uh, respect for territorial uh, integrity. Um, NATO is not a mediator, so it's not for NATO to put proposals on the table, but we support those principles. Uh, we believe that uh, uh, it is possible to overcome the problems and disagreements that, uh, of course, still uh, exist. And sometimes also use my own country, uh, Norway. We are part of the Nordic region, and for centuries uh, we fought each other. Swedes, Danes, and Norwegians, we were in war for many hundred years. Now we live in peace. Uh, I know that there are some some issues related to borders that, that will never be, uh, what to say, totally agreed, but that's over, it's past. We all respect each other uh, as sovereign independent uh, nations. And the same, you, you can see the rest of Europe, France, Germany, uh, the United Kingdom, they, they have fought each other in wars for hundreds of years. Uh, the last big war was, of course, the Second World War, and now these countries live in deep peace. So it is possible, uh, and my message has been the same in Baku as it is in Yerevan, that uh, both sides should now seize this opportunity, overcome uh, the differences, and agree a lasting and just uh, peace agreement. And considering the discussions held in Yerevan, what new perspectives do you see in Armenia-NATO relations? I believe there is a huge potential for doing more together, uh, and uh, we are now close to agreeing a new uh, uh, partnership program. Uh, which will form a new basis for how we can work more closely together, how NATO can uh, support Armenia in, in developing your defense and security policy, uh, help to reform your institutions, but also hopefully in the future work on issues like uh, cyber or demining. Uh, and, uh, and, and we are ready to do so, knowing that, of course, we will only do uh, as much as Armenia is ready to do together with us. NATO is, has never forced any country to do anything against their will. So we are ready to work with Armenia because we uh, uh, regard Armenia as a, 
as an important uh, uh, partner. And I also welcome the, the strong uh, leadership uh, in Yerevan um, uh, for democracy, the rule of law, uh, exactly the same values that uh, NATO believes in. And the Armenia-Turkey border, which is also called the Armenia-NATO border, has been closed for more than 30 years and despite the agreements reached, uh, Ankara is in no hurry to take steps to open the border. How do you see the, the outcome of this issue? One of the reasons why I support the normalization also between Armenia and Azerbaijan is that I think also that will help uh, to normalize the relationship between uh, Armenia and, and Turkey. And I believe that we have made some important progress over the last uh, months. We should build on that progress. There have been some positive signs also about the possibility of at least opening the borders for third country uh, citizens. So we support those efforts. I would very much like to have a normalized border between Turkey and uh, Armenia. Turkey is a NATO ally, Armenia is a partner and everything that can normalize that, that relationship will be uh, mutual beneficial. And what steps is NATO ready to take to support international efforts aimed at establishing peace and stability in the South Caucasus? We work with our partners. Uh, we help them uh, to uh, build democracy, uh, rule of law, uh, uh, democratic institutions, uh, transparency. Uh, but again, NATO as such is not playing a mediator role uh, but some NATO allies are, uh, France, uh, Germany, uh, the United States, uh, are supporting the efforts to uh, facilitate negotiations. We have now negotiations uh, going on, and uh, I strongly believe that we are closer to a resolution than ever before. But of course, then it requires some well of compromise from both sides to overcome the remaining uh, unsolved issues. Thanks for the interview, Mr. Secretary General. Thanks so much for having me. It's great to be here. Այս որ հյուրն կալել է ինքի սուսատլանդյան դաշենքի գլխավոր կարտուղար Ենս տոլտեմբերգին հաջողություն։